All right, guys. Let's get into this. Hey guys, how's it going? Otaku Mike here, back again with another video for you guys today. We're doing another manga first impressions video. But let's get all the YouTube rigmarole out of the way. If you're new to the channel, you like the content that I create, please consider subscribing, like, dislike, whatever you want to do. Throw a comment down below on your thoughts about this video. And don't forget to uh, ring that notification bell. Without further ado, let's talk about Peter Grill in the Philosopher's Time. Let's get into this. So, Peter Grill was published by Seven Seas Entertainment and is written and drawn by Daisuke Hiyama. I believe I pronounced that right. Um, let me get the synopsis out of the way. Uh, the story starts out with a tournament, the World Tournament, to find the world's strongest hero. Um, and yet, our main character, Peter Grill, wins this tournament. All we know about him is he's a part of a guild, he's a warrior, and he just won and became the world's strongest human in said tournament between all these different countries and all these different races. Um, little does Peter know, there is a catch to the said tournament for winning uh, the tournament, which I think if you're going to enter a tournament, you would know what exactly you're signing up to and you know read the contract that you signed to enter the tournament uh because peter didn't know exactly what he was fully signing up for so after our main character peter grill wins said tournament um he is met by his two um guild members um Mimi and Lisa, who are ogres, and um, come to find out uh, the other nations have, I don't want to say, uh, they're, they're trying to, to do something, to say the least. I don't know really how to explain it. Um, basically, uh, Mimi comes up to him and is like, hey, uh, can I talk to you for a minute? And he's like, sure, go ahead, let's talk. And uh, apparently, all the other um, uh nations or you know um whatnot want to basically breed with the world's strongest uh, warrior which is our buddy right here peter grill and so they can win the tournament in the next 10 years they want to breed the best warriors um which is uh funny to say at least because you think peter would actually know what he was getting into and peter was like no Wait, what? You want me to do what? What are you talking about? I am not going to do that because secretly, Peter has um, a girl he likes and he's in a secret relationship with. Um, he is secretly in love with, well, it's not really a secret, it's a secret to everybody else, just not them two. He's in love with, in a relationship with um, Lavilia. Lavilia, I believe her name is. And she is a pure knight for their kingdom. And uh, this is where things get a little interesting, to say the least. Now that Peter has won, they can go public, basically, with their relationship. And they're able to get the blessings of her father. Um, they do get the blessings of her father, but things don't go according to plan. Um, because other nations come and try to take Peter's man seed away from him. Um, this is where things get really interesting. Um, slight spoilers. If you want to skip ahead, um, go ahead. Skip ahead 30, to 30 seconds. But I'm going to spoil a little bit of this for you. Um, so let's get into it. So spoilers. Peter ends up giving in to his temptations with our two orc friends right here. He ends up basically cheating on his girlfriend. Uh, which was a really interesting twist. I didn't expect to actually see that happen. And we get... Let me say, the, the, the orcs, they, they, the ogres, they really don't care. 
They really don't care. They just want the seed so they can have kids and potentially breed the best warrior possible. Um, this happens multiple times in the book, and eventually we get to see other creatures um, or other species in the book as well, where Peter is unfaithful, and um, which is very odd because normally you don't see a main character in a manga um, one cheat on the person that they're in love with and two um, try to hide it and um, they actually kind of get away with it in a, to a sense but Peter kind of struggles with this he, he he goes along with it at times and there are times in certain situations where he's like no I don't want this but eventually he gives into his uh, animalistic urges, as one might say. Um, which is it's interesting. Um, the things I enjoyed about this book, I thought the artwork was actually a lot of fun. Here's some of the artwork right here. Hope I didn't just sh show anything inappropriate. Oh, I think I just did show you something inappropriate. Yeah, I, I did. Here's some more artwork right there. Um, this was fun. This was a fun, interesting world to visit and it was a very well paced story i'm interested to see where exactly this goes because he does sleep with a couple of characters and will they or will they not get pregnant and will he actually be able to marry the girl that he actually does have feelings for and will his bad decisions play a part in possibly destroying their relationship. I don't really know where the philosopher time thing comes into effect. I'm guessing something to do with the philosopher's stone. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but yeah, it's going to be interesting to say at least. I liked all the characters and their interactions with each other. I thought this, this um, manga was quite funny. Um, I, there were a bunch of times in this manga where I laughed out loud. I, I don't know if it was the the mangaka's writing itself or the the way it was translated over into English, but it was really funny. A lot of the slang that you got in this this manga was like hysterical. It was a lot. It was a lot of fun. I liked the interactions with Peter and the female characters. I liked Peter's friend. Um, he was quite uh, funny. He was... His name is Tim Robinson. <laughs> uh, when they introduce him, he is just known as Walking uh, Exposition Dump. <laughs> Which was hilarious. Because every time he shows up, he's like, Okay, Peter, this is what's going on. This is what's happening. And Peter's like, Okay, okay, yeah, okay. You know, this is that. Um, but yeah, I like the world that they created. I like that the character is flawed in some way, shape, or form. Um, I'm interested to see where this exactly goes. This 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 book doesn't really take itself seriously at times. A lot of times, there is a lot of slapstick comedy and sexual uh, jokes in this book itself. This book is not going to be for young readers. As you know, you can tell by the cover. Um, you know, it is for mature readers uh, only. This was a real a fun romp, I guess you could say, through uh, the book. Um, it's very cheesecake and fluffy. And, you know, it, it was more than what I expected it to be. I expected it to be just your typical harem. But there were some real interesting situations that Peter gets into. And I was like... That's not in your normal uh, harem. That what? Why would he do that? And why would he do this? There is that one point where he gets a curse put on his little Peter, and he has to figure out how to deal with that, which was freaking hysterical. I thought it was the one of the funniest bits in this. Um, if, if you're interested in this, and you want to give something like that's actually funny a try. Check this out. You know, it, it's it, it's a fun it's a fun quick read. Now for the thing that I actually kind of sort of disliked. This actually might be a deal breaker for some people. 
Um, yes, this is an adult's book, but we do get censoring in the book. That can be a deal breaker for some. A lot of the lady characters do not have nipples. There's no nippleage in the ladies' nipple area. You know, that can be a deal breaker for some. I know people don't like censoring in their manga. For me personally, I was kind of a eh, but I honestly got over it pretty fast because I enjoyed seeing where said characters went in the story and I got really engrossed in the story overall. It was a lot of fun. I learned a lot of new words and um, maybe using them occasionally when I talk about stuff, you know. But uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, I recommend Peter Grill and the Philosopher's Time. Go check this out. It's a lot of fun. Artwork, super good. Comedy, writing, super good. Go check it out. I think there's an anime for this as well. I think I'm going to check out the anime as well and see how this is. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Otaku Mike. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Anyways, comment down below. Let's talk about some Peter Grill.